Uh, there is nothing that's off the table. I have my positions and I'll articulate them, but nothing's off the table. I don't want tax increases. Of course I'd like to have young Americans have some of their money put into an account with their name on it, but that doesn't mean that anything is off the table. Krista, Pat Toomey, the president of the Club for Growth, wrote an open letter to McCain after that statement, reading, this statement was particularly shocking because you have been adamant in your opposition to raising taxes under any circumstances. Your comments yesterday send American taxpayers and businesses a mixed message about where you stand on this issue. We hope you will clarify where you stand on this important issue and reaffirm your commitment to eschew all tax increases. Can any sane politician, Krista, make an adamant set in stone statement given the fact that we're a country at war with an energy crisis about never raising any tax under any circumstances? Well I think it would be extremely imprudent and I would add to your point about war and energy the fact that the American government is in the red. This is a very very dire economic situation the United States is facing right now and we see more bills coming in every day. We've had Fannie and Freddie. We don't know how many regional banks the government is going to end up bailing out. Out. remember the savings and loans crisis so I think that John McCain you know perhaps made the mistake of political candor in saying he can't take anything off the table that is absolutely true and we should also remember that the first President Bush did not fare very well when he made that absolutely firm clear campaign pledge not to raise taxes so, you know, I, I think that in a way the biggest problem John McCain is facing in this campaign is the hard right of his own party, which is trying to pin him into positions that are not really yeah. very realistic right now. So, so Mike, Del, does, does this go to the core in one, in one sense of the Obama campaign? I mean, he's a, new, he's a new guy. He's new on the scene. He's run a new, fresh campaign. Does he do the old-fashioned thing and go at John McCain, you know, flip-flopping on taxes? Or does he just let the Republican Party, you know, uh, discombobulate itself? Well, I think what you're going to see is you're going to see the Republican right in meltdown mode over this because it's one thing to be impeached by the words of your, your opponent in a primary, in this case Hillary Clinton versus Barack Obama. It's another thing to be impeached by your own words. And, and how many times have we heard John McCain saying, that guy is going to raise your taxes, I won't. Well, now all they have to do is play that clip that you just played where they hear John McCain saying one thing and then turning around and, and saying another thing. And I, and I think this is the worst type of flip-flop because, you know, to go back to the last election, it's the economy. And that's the one thing that everybody's going to be talking about is how do I fill up my gas tank and how do I keep a roof over the top of my head? Hey, Richard Cohen, uh, tell me whether or not you had maybe the same feeling that I had when I listened to that clip. I mean, you and I are old enough. We've been in a million states, a million campaigns, and I kept hearing the John McCain of 2000 when I heard just that clip, the real John McClain, John McCain. What did you hear? Yeah, I, I, I had the same feeling that every once in a while John McCain just acts, you know, he just can't contain himself when he says the truth. Uh, this is the truth. You know, the United States has something like 37 trillion, trillion, trillion dollars in unfunded Medicaid obligations. Hmm. I mean, we have got to do something here. The club for growth is the club for growth of deficits. I mean, either we're going to raise taxes or we're going to lower yep. entitlement something, but something has to be done. And McCain is facing that. Richard Cohen, thanks very much. Christopher Freeland, Del Walters, thanks very much.